Hello class, our today's topic is Food Security, Class 9th Economics, Chapter No. 4. When we think about the term food, we are not able to relate it with the next term security because food for us may be a thing of daily, common or of very less significance because it is something that we take for granted. It is not anything that we find that needs to be uh, secured or needs to be uh, bothered about. But unlike us, we find that a very large proportion of the population throughout the world is actually in need of food security. That is, it needs to be made sure, made sure that they get ample amount of food to survive and to sustain. So, the chapter deals with the food security which is provided by the government of any country to its population. Now, to start with, when we study food security, it requires to be elaborated into three different dimensions availability accessibility and affordability By the term availability, we mean that the food production or the food available in the government granaries or the government stock should be made available to the population. For example, if there is a poor family and in spite of having monetary support, the food is not available within their area. So, this will lead into problems. So, the availability of food mean that the food production in the country or the imported food or the stocks which is available in our country should be within reach of the people. The second dimension of food security is accessibility. It is that the food products available in our country should be within the reach of the population. For example, if the people are living in a remote area and the markets are very far away then we can say that the accessibility of the products is not very easy so the food should be within the reach of every person and the final Third dimension of food security is affordability. Suppose the food is available, it is 
also accessible that is it is within your reach but it is too expensive to afford then that is a very big problem for the population so the price or the rate should be low enough to come within the reach of the common person but this affordability here should not be compromised with the quality of the food product because usually it happens that if the rate is decreased then the quality is also decreased and here we are not talking about any gadget or any uh, product that we bought from the market we are talking about food and if the quality of the food is decreased then the nutritional value of that food will be very less and it will ultimately affect our health our body so the food should be affordable and the food which is affordable should be of good quality now after studying these three dimensions of food security we find a very important question that rises up here why do we require food security to answer this question there are a lot of factors which hinder the way of reaching the target of food security let's study them one by one the most important reason of requirement of food security is poor population of our country we see that the population of india has been increasing at a very fast rate which if we study the data we will find that it was 361 million in the year 1951 which rose to 1027 million in 2001 and in the year 2010 census it rose to 1 1210 million which is a tremendous rise in the number of people or the population of our country but on the contrary the production is not increasing at the same pace which pushes us into the condition of lack of availability of food to every mouth another very important factor which is responsible for the requirement of food security in our country is the reduction in land under cultivation with the increase in the population the demands have also increased and to fulfill these demands construction of warehouses factories shelters has increased in a very large number which has ultimately resulted into reduction of land engaged in agricultural practices so with that 
very less amount of land is used for agriculture and with constant use of the same piece of land for agriculture the fertility level of the land has also reduced which has affected the production of food grains to fulfill the need of the population so this reduction of land under cultivation has decreased the amount of production in agricultural areas The next factor is reduction in net sown area under cereals. Like we studied in the earlier point that the land under cultivation is already decreasing. Now with this decrease the limited availability of land is then again involved in production of other things than cereals or food grains land is engaged in producing fruits vegetables cash crops oil seeds or industrial raw material whatever could provide them with monetary benefits and the quantity of land engaged in producing cereals is very less which affects the production to fulfill the requirement of the population